Good morning, everybody. How are you? We're about to get started, y'all, with another Sunday sizzle over here. So, we're going to go ahead and get our biscuits put in the oven. Because today, y'all, guess what? We are making garden omelets. We're making um, uh, biscuits and gravy. And we are also going to make some diner-style hash browns. Go ahead and get my biscuits in the oven so we can let them start cooking. We're going to let our biscuits cook for 15 minutes in the oven. Good morning, Genesis. Y'all, to make our uh, gravy for our biscuits and gravy, I am using uh, Tennessee Tennessee Pride Mild Sausage on the roll, okay? I want all my sausage out of my pack. Turn my camera a little bit so y'all can see me and the stove at the same time. Is that better? Okay, cool. Now this pan right here that I'm using, y'all, I actually made me some bacon in it earlier so that I can um put some bacon in my omelet. And what I'm doing now is I'm just going to start browning off my sausage for my sausage biscuit. Okay. So I'm going to let that do its thing, and I'm going to run and grab my phone charger. Here, y'all watch the stove for me until I get back. As we're making our sausages, we're going to keep them stirred so that we can kind of have fine ground sausage. Now, if you like um, kind of chunks in your sausage, you don't have to stir it as much, okay? Got on the agenda for today, honey. What's your Sunday dinner looking like? Comment below and let me know what you got going on for your Sunday dinner. I can tell y'all this: our Sunday dinner gonna be fantastic. I'm not gonna tell y'all everything I have on my menu, so y'all can watch the video. But I can tell y'all one thing: I'm gonna have on my menu, honey. I am going to be making some sweet potato pies. Now y'all see how our sausage is um, scrambling and if you look at it you'll see that it's scrambling kind of and like little small fine scrambles. That's, that's what I want. That's why I keep stirring it. Like I said, if you're not um, wanting like really fine granules, oh y'all can't see me. Here we go, y'all. That's better. So if you're not wanting, like, fine granules in your food, just don't, I'm sorry, in your sausage, if you're not wanting it fine, just don't stir it up as much. Okay? Let me 
take off with all of our sausage done. Now while our sausage is still oh get that off of that. While our sausage is still cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some flour out of the pantry because we're gonna need flour. How y'all like y'all omelet? Over here for the omelet, I have ham, bacon, uh, peppers. I have green, red, and yellow peppers. I also have some tomatoes that we're going to put on the top. And I got to get the cheese. I have the cheese over there, too. I'm going to have to go and grab the cheese. Matter of fact, while our sauce is still cooking, let me go and get our cheese. Because I left the cheese in the refrigerator. Good morning guys, how are y'all? This morning we're making biscuits and gravy. We just put our biscuits in the oven. We're making biscuits and gravy. We're making uh, a garden omelet. And we're also going to make us some diner style um, hash browns. Alright. I know I just told y'all I was going to get that cheese. I ain't forget, okay? Okay, y'all, so now that we have our, um, let me turn this down, come and move this pan. Now that we have our sausage all ground up, we are going to, you see we have a little bit of oil from the sausage. What we're going to do now is add us some oil. This is a little over two tablespoons of, um, bacon grease. We're going to go ahead and add that. That's from what we cooked our bacon this morning. And this is going to give us a lot of flavor in our sausage gravy, okay? If you don't have bacon grease, don't worry about it. But if you want sausage gravy that really packs a punch, the key to it is using um, bacon grease as well as using um, the oil from your sausage. Now what we're going to do... is we're going to add us some flour to this. And I am using um, all-purpose flour, okay? That was a heaping tablespoon of flour. We're going to add about two of those. I'm using all-purpose flour, y'all. And with me using all-purpose flour, I'm going to have to add some salt in here later. If you don't use all-purpose flour and you use self-rousing flour, you want to be mindful of your salt that you add in, okay? Now, the reason why we added this flour is because we want to make this a gravy. And you see this, how this coming in the bottom of your pan? Okay? Just scrape the bottom of your pan as you're cooking. And now to this, we are going to add milk. Here I have four cups of milk, okay? I'm going to add half of that at first, and I'm going to let this stir up and come up to a boil, and it's going to start getting thick. Once it gets really good and thick, I'm going to add the rest of my milk. Now, you want to add more milk than what you need, because when this reduces down, it's going to get thick, and you want a nice gravy, not paste, okay? So, we're going to keep stirring this. Let me get my towel so I can wipe my stove out. Keep stirring this up, y'all. And it might seem like it's not doing much, but it is under there. That's why I'm stirring it. Because you don't want your flour to kind of settle in there, okay? Alright. 
All right. Now what we're going to do, y'all, is I'm going to go ahead and grab my um, cheese, like I told y'all a few minutes ago. So let me go get my cheese. Watch the stove till I get back. While we're doing that, y'all, I'm going ahead and beating my eggs up. This is six eggs and a quarter cup of milk. And that's what we're going to use for our omelets. Okay, now you see how this is thickening up, y'all? This is why we didn't add all of our milk at one time. Okay? Because we want this to cook slow, but at least we got it thickened up here, okay? So now what we're going to do is on our back eye over here, I'm going to be using this eye for something else, so I'm going to move this pot. But on our back eye over here, we're going to turn that to a medium low. And then now that we got this thick like this, we're going to go ahead and add our other two cups of milk. Now, I'm going to tell you, once you get it thick and you add your milk, you can't add no more flour to it because you're going to make it lumpy, okay? And you want gravy, not lumps. Now, when you use your sausage, I use Tennessee Fried Original. But when you use your sausage, if you want something a little more savory, you can add the, um, you could use the Tennessee Pride or whatever sausage you have that's uh, with sage in it. If you want like a kind of a sweet little taste to it, get the one that has maple. Me, I personally like the original, okay? So that's why I'm using the original. But to each his own, let your taste buds tell you what they want you to do. Now to this, I'm going to add me some black pepper, and I'm also going to add a little bit of salt. Now you want to add your salt and pepper to taste, okay? Again, let your taste buds tell you what they want. And we're going to stir this up really good. We're going to bring this up to a boil. Then I'm going to move it to that back eye and put a lid on it. And just that simple, y'all. That's how you make sausage gravy for your biscuits. Let me grab a spoon so I can taste that. That's really good. Let me add a little bit more salt to it. And again, remember I told you, you, you want to add it to taste, okay? And then just for cosmetic purposes, this is totally optional, but y'all know I like color for food. I'm just going to add just a, a tap of paprika, just like that, just for color. Now we're going to stir this up really, really good, like so. Like I said, we're going to bring this back to a boil. So that we can let it start to get thick again. And then we're going to put it on our other eye and let it cook slow while we make our other parts to our breakfast. Let me get me another spoon and taste that since I added that other salt in there. What? 
Now that's the one. Now I must tell y'all, as we let this reduce, your flavor is going to intensify in there. Okay, as it reduces down and thicken up. And when you stir, you want to make sure that you stir your bottom of your pot so that you don't have anything sticking in the bottom of your pot. Okay? Let me check on our biscuits in this oven, y'all, because we don't want our biscuits to burn. It's been about 15 minutes now. and we'll bring them out see how we're starting to thicken back up again that's what you want I'll be right back y'all Okay, y'all see how this coming up to a boil now? And the more it comes up to a boil, the more it's going to thicken. Let me grab me a stick of butter so when I take my biscuits out of the oven, we can butter the biscuits, y'all. Our biscuits are nice and flaky. Some flaky layers in them. Okay, y'all see this? See how we have it up to a good rolling boil now. slow while we making the other parts of our breakfast okay so let's get our stove wiped off really good and now I'm going to show you how I make my diner style hash browns Okay, with our hash browns here. Now what I do is this right here is a mixture of butter and oil, okay? Because here's the key to making your diner style um, 
hash browns. You want to, you can mix butter and oil separately. You'll get the same effect where if you put about a good tablespoon or two tablespoons of butter inside your pan with about two tablespoons of oil, you let that melt down and um, it's going to give you a nice nutty flavor in your butter. But here I have my container and I um, already have it pre-mixed in my container. Let me take my biscuits out, y'all, before I forget and burn my biscuits. Then I'm going to be mad. Here's our biscuits. They are good and golden right there. Y'all see that? Mmm, those are good biscuits. Okay. While our pan right here is heating up, I'm going to go ahead and butter my biscuits. Just rubbing the butter right across. I don't know if y'all can see that. Can y'all see what I'm doing? Let me bring them over here. To butter my biscuits, y'all, all I'm doing is taking my butter and just rubbing it right across the top of my biscuits like so. Okay, there we go. Now those are done. We're going to just let them sit to the side like so. And now what we're going to do is I've already grated three potatoes. Okay. So with me grating my three potatoes, I have them already ready with a little salt and pepper on them. And I have them in my bowl. Okay. Make sure that's my hot. Now what I'm going to do is sprinkle my butter and oil right down in my pan. And I'm going to let that come up to a good sizzle, okay? Wash my hands real quick, y'all. Got our spatula. Okay. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let this heat up really good. See how I had that water on my hands, so. You want to know that it's hot, okay? You want it to get good and hot when you put it in there because you want your um, hash browns to be good and crispy, okay? And like I said, this is three potatoes that I grated. And I grated these potatoes on the large setting of my cheese grater. And then I took them and I wrap them in a towel to get as much moisture out of them as I can. And I want these to fry up really, really good. Okay? But now, here's the thing. You're going to take your spatula and press them down like so. I'm going to let these fry in this oil, but also... I'm going to take my lid and put my lid on this, and I'm going to let it steam in there for about a good five minutes because I also want my potatoes to get done. When you grate your potatoes, what you want to do is you want to run them like in a um, strainer or a colander or something like that, what you have, and you want them to... Um, drain until the water runs clear because they have a lot of starch on them so you don't want them to turn brown on you okay and these like I said I have them seasoned with salt and pepper and a little bit of paprika just for color so we'll let this go for five minutes so that our potatoes can actually steam as they're frying so you're doing two processes at one time and then 
we're going to get ready to start making our um, omelets. Y'all notice I keep coming back here and stirring this. And a part of why I keep stirring this is because I don't want my gravy to stick to the bottom of my pan. So if you're making biscuits and gravy with something else for breakfast, make sure you keep a watch on your gravy and keep it stirred, okay? Y'all, I'm going to take a good peek at my potatoes. Okay. I see they're browning, but I want to make sure that they don't brown too brown on the bottom side. Okay. And I have my oil. I know it hasn't been five minutes, but I wanted y'all to be able to see that so you can see what's happening, okay? Now I'm just going to spread them out like so with my spatula, and I'm going to let them cook and brown on the other side. Put my lid back on there. And now I'm going to let it go for the five minutes. Right? Oh! <laughs> So I'm going to let this cook and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, y'all. And once you let your... Um, Hash browns cook for five minutes on one side. Y'all gonna see they're gonna come out really, really nice, okay? All golden and brown, and it's gonna uh, be crispy. So, what happened, Trey? Oh, because you've been doing so much this morning already, that's why. Y'all know when you go to the restaurant and they make your hash browns at the restaurant, all they do is take that butter and uh, oil mixture and mix it together at the restaurant. That's how you get crispy brown hash browns like that. Alright, I'm just checking them, y'all. So the people who like be walking around and you see a do-rag on, so you're supposed to be walking around like that? Hey, Tammy. 
I miss you this morning, girl. Okay, y'all, here we go. Now we're going to take it and just switch it over to the other side. What happened? Y'all do know if I leave that hash brown alone and go ahead and let it just sit there for the whole five minutes, it will actually crisp all the way. And when I flip it, it'll just be one whole flip. But I'm hungry, y'all, so I'm ready to eat. But leave it on one side for five minutes. That's why I told y'all. And you want to put the lid on it so that you're steaming your potatoes at the same time. That way you make sure all your potatoes get done. Tell me I'm making biscuits and gravy over here. And hash browns. And omelet. Yes, that is hot. <laughs> you want some, Tammy? Mm. All right, y'all, I'm going to do the same thing again. cleaning all the excess potato out of here. It's only them little three little crumbs right there. Hey, Trina. <laughs> all right, guys. We're going to shake up our oil and butter mixture. Squeeze it in the bottom of our frying pan. Yes, Trina, I am cooking dinner later today. I'm not going to tell you everything I'm cooking for dinner. So you're going to have to go on my YouTube channel to see it. But I can tell you this. I'll be making sweet potato pie. Okay, 
Okay, y'all, once again, I'm going to go ahead and put my lid on so my potatoes can cook while my potatoes can... Can y'all see me? There y'all go. I, just half of me was cut off. Sorry, y'all. I got my biscuits and gravy right here, Pops. This is my sausage gravy right here. We already took our biscuits out of the oven and buttered them. I'm going to sit them over here on the stove so that they can stay warm. If you have not already done so, guys, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go on YouTube.com and um, search Curlinda Can Cook. And make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can see when I upload videos throughout the week. Because I put up a new video every day. Trina. I ain't planning on selling any dinner plates. Put him some in the microwave. Y'all know why all my family try to call me on Sunday morning. Put him some in the microwave. When he when he coming to get it? Y'all see my little hash brown right here. I'm gonna eat my hash brown, y'all, while I'm waiting on this other one to get done. So that one gotta cook for five minutes. When he coming, um, Tammy? Y'all want some? Hmm. You got it? Okay. I bite, you too. Now I chew, you swallow. Ready? Swallow. Tastes good, don't it? I know. Let me wash my hands so I can flip this. Yeah, I know you told me you want to come on today. Wednesday. Okay. Good morning, Vinny. All right, y'all. Once again, we are going to stir our biscuit gravy. Now, y'all see, though it's cooking on medium low, it still has a slow boil to it. So, you want to make sure you keep it stirred. 
so it does not stick, okay? And it's thickening more too, okay? I am having a lovely weekend, Benny. I really am. I'm breathing, so that's half the battle. And y'all, like I said, when you put your lid on your um, when you put your lid on your hash browns, the reason why you're doing that is because you want to make sure that all of your potato cook, okay? I'm still eating on my hash brown over there, y'all. Benny, I'm making sweet potato pies today. Along with my Sunday dinner. What else y'all want to see me make? Y'all know our video. <laughs> oh, you know what? Me and my husband were just talking about liver and onions. I was thinking about my grandmother the other day um, with some fried green tomatoes because my grandma loved fried green tomatoes and she turned me on to them. Me and my husband was talking about some liver and onions, Vinny. Hmm. Hey Greg, uh -huh. Vinny wants some liver and onions on the channel. Yeah. Yeah. Liver, onions, what you want me to cook with it, Vinny? Greg, say some rice and corn. What you want with the liver and onions? You want one of my pies? To okay, I'm cooking for Tammy, so I can save you a pie. Y'all take my time, pack all this stuff together and flip it and then. Y'all, listen, if you want to put a binder in here, you can put a binder and like beat an egg and put an egg in it. Um, and or like a little bit of flour. You can put a binder in here, okay? I just did not do that. And since it's homemade, I want it to look more homemade. You want cream puffs with the liver and onions, Benny? long omelet spatula over here too so I bet you 
The only thing is I don't really like using metal in my um, non-stick pans. But I have my omelet spatula out today for my omelets. I don't want to use that metal spatula in my pan, y'all. All right, let me get this on a plate for Greg, and then I'm going to come back, and we're going to make our omelet. All right, y'all, now this has been over here cooking with the lid on. I wanted to thicken up a little bit more, so what I'm going to do is um, mashed potatoes and corn. Liver and onions, mashed potatoes, and corn. Okay, you're going to see that on the menu one day this week. Liver and onions with some mashed potatoes and corn, Greg. Greg said, mm-hmm. See that what's happening, y'all? That just that quick that I took the lid off. Y'all see how this is thickening up more? You don't want it pasty. You do want it thick enough to sit on top of your biscuits, but you don't want it pasty, okay? But when I take the lid off, taking the lid off will take the steam out of it, so it'll go ahead and do its thing. Okay, let me get these on a plate for Greg, y'all. Then we're going to make this omelet. I'm not sure, Tammy. <clears throat> You're welcome, my dear. Y'all see that? Nice and crispy. Look at that. All I gotta do is put some ketchup on it, honey. You're good to go. Or some cheese or whatever you want. Okay, yes, honey. Top of the omelet. Here's just whisking up a little bit of um this our eggs and our oil and eggs and milk. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of our oil and butter in the bottom of our pan. Like so. Gonna get us a good stir. And y'all, we almost ready to eat. Okay, y'all, we're gonna get us a ladle for our egg. Okay, we're going to take our ladle and we're going to ladle up some egg mixture for our omelet. You don't want to put too much egg at one time because you don't want to, you don't want your omelet not to be all the way done. Okay, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to push my egg up a little bit just so that the center can run out some, like so. And now I'm going to add all the yummy good stuff in here. Smothered liver, heavy on the onions, rice, sweet peas, oven baked corn bag. Thank you very much. Got you. Okay. Now, with our omelet, we're going to dress it all on one side, okay? This is something that I didn't show y'all I did before I put them peppers in there, so let me do it now. 
in my omelets, I had I add Mrs. Dash, y'all. Okay. So now I'm adding my peppers, like so. Then I'm gonna add me some ham, some bacon, and in your omelet you can add whatever you want to add to it. Okay. And some cheese, a lot of cheese. Okay. And then, I'm going to close it off. Okay. I don't even know why I bought that thing, y'all. And I don't like putting metal inside of my um, pans. I was going to flip this on the other side, but that's okay. Because now y'all get to see everything that's in it. <laughs> it's liver with gravy. It's liver with gravy, uh, Benny. We just call it smothered liver. But it's the same thing. You and I are talking the same thing. Or you and my dad, I should say, are saying the same thing. What I'm going to do, y'all, is... Here. I'm going to slide it like this. Just like that. Okay? Because ain't nobody got time to be being all cute and stuff. And I'm going to take this biscuit right here. And I'm going to pop it open. Now, you can break your biscuit up if you want to. You can pop it open, whatever you want to do, however you decide you want your biscuit. Babe! See that right there, y'all? Gregory! Your breakfast ready. We're going to put that gravy right on top of that biscuit, just like that, y'all. Y'all see that right there? Mm-hmm. Biscuits and gravy, omelet, and a homemade hash brown. This is our breakfast. And I'm going to take this and add some more cheese to the top and tomato. Okay, like so. And grab me a handful of tomato and put it right up there. And if you want to put you some sour cream on there, whatever you want to put on there, that is yours. Okay? Look at that. My husband over here reaching. Cool. Do you use flour? Yes. No, I use flour in my on my uh, to dredge my liver, uh, Vinny. I do know how to cook it both ways, but I like it better with flour on it. Orange juice is in the freezer. Look at my husband over here looking for the orange juice, y'all. Looking for the orange juice. I turned all my stove off, y'all, except for my omelet right here. I know, right? I was um, expecting to get some, too. Glad I paid attention to the fact that I picked up the salt. Here we go, Mrs. Dash. Putting that right in there. And the reason why y'all didn't see me put any salt in here is because I have this ham in here and this bacon, okay? And both of them have salt in them. But that Mrs. Dash be taking it up to a whole new level, y'all. A whole new level.
And you make your omelet how you want it made. You welcome, Vinny. Y'all know I'm going to add my cheese. Right? Yeah, what's wrong with them people? See, so you tell them, uh-uh, y'all didn't cook this right. Darn it. I broke my egg, y'all, trying to flip. Anywho. Yeah, if, they, if, if liver and onions isn't made right, that's like a total bust right there. It's like, don't waste your time. Who told you this was good? You don't even get an A for effort when you mess up liver and onions. Okay, y'all, I'm going to turn my eye off because that's done. Now, I'm going to get what's left of what I had from my hash brown, y'all. I have more hash brown mix here. I'll probably make some more for later. Go ahead and put my, like so. Ta-da! Now, all I'm going to do, y'all... Take this right here. Throw that biscuit gravy off on it like that right there. And that's my breakfast, okay? Okay, I would have sent it back too and put it in the whole reject pile. Tell them to shut down the whole restaurant because this ain't right. Who did this? Who came up with this recipe? Alrighty, my dear. Love you guys. I am going to take my breakfast, but here's what I have. Here's what we're doing. What? Really? Here's what I have, y'all. Much love. Thank you all so much for watching. I don't know what happened there, but thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next Sunday morning on Sunday Sizzle. Don't forget, if you have not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, and uh, like, comment, share with a friend, a family member, the neighbors, everybody, okay? Love you all. Mwah. See you all next Sunday.